Hello, Jennifer. This is Dave from ChiefTutor.com. Thanks for sending in your model. Okay, let's take a look at what we've got here. Uh, you're wanting to put a roof on the front of this house. And it looks like there's a texture missing. That I'm not going to mind. <clears throat> so I'm just going to ignore there. And you would like, basically, the entire house is 9 foot ceiling plate height. And you would like the gables to run up to 10 feet. So they're starting from 10 feet running up. So we'll correct that. It looks like you have raised up already the entry. Um, something's going on above the entry there. We'll, have, we'll fix that. And then the nine foot plate is where the rest of the hip roof will lie. And then zip it around to the other side. It looks like something really funky is happening here. And not quite sure how to put a roof plane over that. Well, you know what these old uh, Tudor type cottagey like homes, <coughs> Let's see, if you go to glass house view, you most likely are messing with the walls on the second floor, and it's hard to wrap a roof around uh, with avoiding the, those rooms. And I can see there from the glass house view that we're affecting lo what looks to be this bedroom and this closet area. <clears throat> so there's a couple of ways we can tack this. We can try to do basically what you've done here, which doesn't look so pretty. Or we can hip it back around. Now, if we hip it back around, it'll cut into this bedroom even more. Uh, so I don't recommend that. Or we can simply pull this out a little further and then hip back to this roof. Or pull it out all the way and have this whole area like a covered little area on the side. Um, that's totally up to you on how you want to approach it. I'm going to show you the method so you can easily manipulate that return here while not, you know, while not changing anything else, which is kind of nice. <clears throat> Coming around to the other side, I also notice this backyard patio has these little wing walls on either side, these, these guys. So we'll go ahead and get rid of those as well. Okay, let's get started. So what we want to do first is we want to get this plan easy to read when you're manipulating the roof plan. Yeah, I've seen you've got a lot of stuff going on here. So I'm going to go down and choose another layer set. Wow, look at all the layers you guys got. And I'm going to go to Roof Plan Set. And I'm definitely going to clean up some of this Roof Plan stuff. So this is what I'm going to do now. Now that's on Roof Plan Set, I want to set it to more appropriate, get rid of a lot of the stuff I don't need. So I'm going to select all. I'm going to go to Display tab, and I'm going to turn my display on, and then turn my display off. So I turned everything on, now I turned everything off. And I just want certain things to be turned on, like the doors will be turned on and locked. Scroll down towards the bottom, I want the windows on, but I want them locked. I want the walls and the invisible walls on, but I want them locked, so I can't mess with them. Uh, then I'm going to go up to Roofs, and I'm going to go Roof Planes to be on, Baselines to be on, Polylines, and Roof Baselines. Now, what is Roof Baseline Polylines? Chief has this really cool tool built into their roofing tools that allow you to build the roof based on CAD lines. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take this roof off, and delete your existing roof. So we go to the Roof tool and just delete it. Then we're going to go to Build Roof Planes and turn on Make Roof Baseline Polyline. Make sure our pitch is set to the 1012 that we like. <clears throat> and I click OK. And there's going to be some, see that little circle there? It says, hey, there's this wall there that's reversed. And I don't care about walls being reversed. So whenever they give me that warning, I'm going to say, don't show me again, and just click OK. And then it builds this baseline polyline. If you see, there it is. I can select one and add it to the plan if I wanted to. Um, I'm going to leave that one for now because I'm going to try an experiment. This one's good. It goes all the way around the front. And then there's some other ones here, which we're going to change out. This one here in the middle I definitely don't need. don't know why I did that. It's probably because of the way this room was set. Oh, and there seems to be another one behind it, so I'm going to delete that one as well. And then coming up here to these guys, I'm going to delete these extra ones I don't want. I just want one. Um, yeah, I'm going to delete that guy as well. So I'm just going to use the one, the one major one that goes around the house. Now, I know there's a second one here for that patio, but the reason why I want to leave that is because I think I want to raise this up. So we're going to leave that one there and see how it goes. Okay, so <clears throat> let's make some changes here. This is, says 
vertical G, which means a gable, it's set to a full gable. So you've already assigned that wall to generate as gable, which is good. This wall is a gable good. This wall goes around. Um, I want this. Yeah, I want that to come out to about there. And I want this one to follow it. So I'm going to bring that one out to here. And I want to be careful to line this up so there's not a lot of dots. And if there are extra dots, I can push them over to the side and kind of get rid of them. Because I want one clean line that says vertical gable. Double click this and make sure it's a full gable. Click OK. And going around here, I know there's going to be a turn. <clears throat> we're going to turn here. And we're going to gable this one out. So I'm going to gable this one out. I'm going to gable this one out just a bit. And then vertical gable good. This one needs to read uh, 10, 12, regular pitch. So I'm going to set that back. This one as well needs to read that. So I double click this, uncheck that. I don't want full gable. So I want the 10, 12, which means hip. If it says 10, 12, it means it'll put a hip there. It'll put a hip here. It'll put the gable there, a hip there, gable there, hip, 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 all the way good. Gable there, gable there, gable there. That's that funny wall that we were talking about. Let's go ahead and leave the full gable there. I'll even pull it out a little bit so we can see what's going on. And then we're going to double click this bad boy, and it's going to say what it's building to, that 9-foot plate height. It puts it up to about 117 and an eighth. That might be a little high for 9 feet, but we'll just go with it. And then this back one, I'm going to double click it, and this one's up even higher, 130. That, that makes more sense because I think you made the ceiling height in here much higher. So that's why I wanted to keep that last one. And then let's go ahead now and let's build a roof. So we're going to build a roof plane and we'll turn on this automatic build roofs. So as we make any changes, it can modify with us. And there it goes. Now let's take a quick look at what we've built. <clears throat> so here it goes. We need to raise this part up and this part up, but pretty much that's correct the way we wanted it drawn. And here's that funny one that's going way out and affecting us. Now, let's play with that a little while we have automatic suggestions on or automatic roof on. If I were to change this to, say, a 10-12 pitch to hip around, we'll watch the computer build around. And it built this hip roof, and now I believe that hip roof is cutting into your second floor. Which, yeah, cuts through the door, cuts through the wall. That's why I didn't think it was such a good idea to do it there. But you could stretch this out. You could line it up with that or maybe even go halfway. Just so you can pull that gable further out so it can give the second floor more of a distance to build itself under there. And you have a little covered area. And you can pull it all the way out if you want to. Sometimes Chief does this because it remembers the old attic walls you had. So simply delete any walls uh, that are generating falsely there. And if that was a real wall, you could put it back as well. And you know that this would be the reason why it's affecting it. So you could pull it out. And let's do that. Why don't we pull it out all the way, see how that looks. Maybe you want to go that way. And again, we want to get that dot real close so it's generating a nice hip around. <clears throat> let's go back to the camera view. There we go. It kind of finishes off the roof nicely, cleanly. Everything looks pretty good. So it's up to you on how you want to adjust that. Now we just need to adjust the front. And it looks like the back has those silly little wing walls. We just want to get rid of those as well. Well, that's no problem. We can click on that again, and we can bring it in to where it doesn't do that return wall. See how as, as I bring it in, it's getting rid of that hip return. And let's bring it in a bit. And it looks like a bit more. And it looks like a bit too much. There we go. And now the back is being built a little bit more appropriately. It's raised up higher. It's got its own little unique ending. Everything looks good there. So now let's just fix the front. So we'll have to take off automatic roof returns to fix the front, but that's okay. We're going to do that. So I'm going to select this roof, this roof, shift select this roof, this roof, and I'm holding down shift as I'm selecting these roofs. So I want all those roofs, one, two, three, four, five, and six roofs to go up a foot. So I'm going to go here and it says you're about to, you have to turn off automatic build roofs. You want to manipulate it. So yeah, I want to turn it off. And I'm going to move it up one foot, say like two inches. And just give it a little jump up. 
And then we want to use the magic tool on the keyboard called number two. The number two on the keyboard is the conjoin tool. So when I click on a roof, I have this conjoin tool over here. It's also a hotkey number two. So what I do is I select the edge I want to manipulate, hit number two, and select the other edge I want to hit. And start tying these roof planes together. Click here, click two, click there. Whoop, click the wrong roof. Got to be careful to get the right roof. Click uh, here, that's good. I'll zip up a bit, okay. Up here, number two, up there. Select this edge, hit number two, select that edge. <clears throat> select this edge, hit number two, and hit that edge. And I'm just kind of going around tying in the roof planes. This edge, number two, there. And again, this edge, number two, there. And by doing so, I am attaching those roofs correctly. You know, Chief X8 has this light problem. The house disappears in light. They have this new thing, the auto adjust sunlight. You say sun to follow. But even with that turned on, sometimes it just goes away. Hit number two and hit this roof plane. It's weird. It just goes dark all of a sudden, which is kind of strange. Anyway, so let's go back here now, and we want to make a few more adjustments that the um, the cat baseline catalyne did not finish off, and that is let's get that wall, that roof back to the stucco wall. Whoops, looks like I went a little too far. <clears throat> Just so the roof is touching the stucco wall, and it'll finish it off nicely. Okay. And there's a little bit we want to fix, and there's a little bit over there I want to fix. So I'm going to go back to my 3D view, or my floor plan view, and move in here and say, okay, I want to fix this. So I'm going to go three cut here, and I'm going to move, if I can zoom in here, get this grab handle, move this guy in like this. And what I'm doing is just finishing off the nine foot plate height roof. Three cut there, because that roof piece is basically... Um, I always want to say cancel if anything pops up to say you want to roof it over it. But basically, we want to finish off this roof because this roof plane is lower than our 10-foot ones that were built over here. So I'm just selecting this, hitting 3 on the keyboard, which is the cut tool. And I'm going to cut the roof right about there. And I'm going to move it over here and then grab my grab handle and finish it off over there. And let me kind of show you in the 3D what I did. So now I have a nice finish for that roof right there. And I have a nice finish for that roof over there on that side. So there it is. This is uh, raising the gables up to 10 feet, uh, keeping the rest at 9. And then here's a nice little corner we can manipulate now too because we've extended that corner over. So the easy way to do that again is select it, hit number 2, and select this roof. I'll try again. Not number two. Three on the keyboard. Cut it. Cut it right there. And I can move this guy back here like so. <clears throat> so what I've done now is I've kind of manipulated the roof and gotten it to build the way I want all the way around. I've raised up the front. I fixed the back. All the roof planes are together. So it's all as one. And I was using the baseline polyline that Chief offers here. Uh, under their roofing tools. Under build plane, <clears throat> build roof plane, whoops, let's do that again. Build roof plane. Ah, what's happening here? Build roof plane. It's right here. Make roof baseline polyline. And what it does is it builds based off of that baseline polyline. So you can easily manipulate and change it if you want to. But remember to do all those changes first before you start doing some manual edits. That way you won't lose any of the manual edits that you do at the end. Okay, this has been Dave here at ChiefTutor.com. Hope you learned something new. We'll talk to you guys soon.